Have you ever run 200 miles in one go? Do you know any 70 to 80 year olds that can still run ultra marathon distances? No? Then you're probably not a member of the Tarahumara tribe of Mexico. In today's episode, the secret to their abilities and why the Western culture can just not keep up. This is an entire tribe of people that can run distances well beyond 100 miles. They routinely run 200, 250 miles at a time. And not just some people, but all of them, men and women, old and young alike. Remarkably, the tribe record for a single run is a staggering 435 miles in just over 48 hours. The Tarumar are one of the most impressive native cultures that there is. They can run super far and have really low levels of our most lethal diseases. Yet they have no genetic difference from the surrounding population. To run this distance over 16 times further than a marathon in one session defies belief. But even more remarkable is how they do it. Either barefoot or these thin homemade sandals made out of either deer skin or whenever people like chuck old tires down in the canyons, they'll actually scamper out, salvage the tires and cut them into sandals. Aside from years of conditioning, the answer can be found in their diet. With 95% of their calories coming from plants, they essentially eat a whole food, plant-based, 80-10-10 style diet. Looking at this study that was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that documented the diet of the Tara Umara in the 70s, it is clear that they met all of their nutrient recommendations and then some. They ate a lot of corn, beans, squash, mustard greens, chili peppers, chia seeds, and they essentially got 70 to 80% of their calories from carbs, 9 to 12% from fat, and then approximately 10% remaining of protein. And they had the cholesterol intake of about one half of one egg per day. Now I'm not saying the Tarahumara didn't eat any animal products, but their level of consumption was so low that they can be considered a quasi-vegan culture. And traditionally, since dairy wasn't available to Native Americans, the dairy in the study wouldn't have been there, so they'd be consuming even less animal products. So how does their diet actually help them run further? Well, whole plant foods actually open up arteries, while animal foods are known to clog up and close off arteries. In addition, a lot of animal products actually destroy the lining of your arteries or endothelial cells, which actually emit nitrous oxide to help your blood flow smoother. All of these things help oxygen get to your muscles, which obviously helps you run. In addition to that, a whole food plant-based diet is also an anti-inflammatory diet, which helps people run and run longer into their old age. The health differences between the Tara Umara and the US start young. When looking at the blood cholesterol levels of the Tara Umara, children, it's about 112 milligrams per deciliter. But if you look at US children, it's about 182 milligrams per deciliter. So when Tara Umara people are getting ready to start running marathons as children, our children have an extra 70 milligrams of cholesterol holding them down, not to mention some extra pounds. What is also sad is that as I sit here applauding what the Tarumara ate in the 70s, they're starting to adopt a more modern, unhealthy diet with things like Coca-Cola, MSG-laden noodles, and potato chips. It turns out, uh, the reports are saying that women are starting to now wear modern, athletic, thick-soled running shoes because they don't want pebbles in their feet. If you want to learn more about the Tara Mara, you can read Christopher McDougall's book, Born to Run, where he also follows Scott Jurek, an ultra -mar marathoner that has the US record for running the longest distance in 24 hours. However, McDougall downplays the benefits of Scott Jurek's vegan diet, as well as the Tara Umara's plant-based diet and how it helps him perform well. He also uses the Tara Umara to support the theory that human brains grew in size evolutionarily from primarily meat, which I believe is a fallacy and I will cover later on in more videos. So the Tarahumara are essentially living examples that our theories are wrong, that running with high impact and running into old age are actually things that the body can naturally do if you're eating a healthy diet. In conclusion, eat a plant-based diet like the Tarahumara, get off your computer, take off your shoes, and go for a run.